Hi, Izzy Nally here with Izzy Nally Consulting. Today we're talking about CEO and money mindset and why this is so important for you to grow and scale your business. So often we come from this world where we've been living from maybe paycheck to paycheck, or at least you've been paying hourly or salary for an expectation in the job. Now this varies slightly for those who are in the sales industry. Those who are in the sales industry, this is slightly different because you have this idea of, of moving beyond and striving for more and thinking bigger, thinking outside of the box. Most of us are stuck thinking inside the box. And in order to gain this CEO and money mindset, um, to heal that, to, to work on expanding that we need to move beyond our current comfort zone and move into a space beyond. And how we can do that is by looking at those who have come before us. Uh, not to say that everyone that we look at is exactly how we want to do it, but we need to look at their success and realize how can we take elements of that success and incorporate it into what we are doing. Now, I work with corporate organizations as well as individuals. And that being said, I have that insight to how these larger multi-million dollar companies are making their money. What are the inside workings? How are they operating from the inside? Now, first and foremost, each and every single one of them has a product that they are selling a product that they are selling. Now, some of these companies might be working on services that they are selling, but that service is a product, meaning they have a guaranteed A to B role that they are playing in that business. Now, what we can do though, is we can create a product. We can create a digital product um, for many of the coaches, consultants in the world. We recognize this by our courses that we can create, books that we can create. And yes, we can even package up a service itself as long as it has a very specific outcome. That being said, these companies have a product and they know their product well. I see so many individuals in the individual world where they're working on their marketing first, but how are you going to work on marketing if you're not confident in your product? And so before you can start the marketing process, before you can become confident and be in the space and start talking about your product, you must first know what your product is and you must define that product. So that's why when we are in the million maker business blueprint, first and foremost, uh, we touch on what our vision and mission statement is because that is the foundation and we continue to come back to it over and over again as our anchor, just as any business should. Now, once we're in it, we first want to create a product. Most coaches are going to tell you, start with your high ticket offer. High ticket offers to start with work great for those who have already tried to sell some low ticket offers or those who have tried to sell some freebies. Yes, you have to sell a freebie and they are stuck and they need to scale. Now, most likely they created those small products and their marketing wasn't on. So yes, marketing needs to happen at that point. But I find that most people that are coming into owning their own business, they get stuck. They keep thinking they need to create this high ticket offer and they never end up creating it because they don't have the confidence to go behind it. As I said, these large multi-million dollar businesses have a product that they are confident and they know inside and out. Yes, that takes time to accomplish. Most people keep moving on and they don't settle and they don't get to, and I say settle, meaning they don't settle into it. They keep moving around. You need to establish 
a low ticket offer first. I know that's a little controversial compared to what a lot of the other coaches are saying, but I'm saying this because you need to build the confidence. The work that you will put into that low ticket offer is what you will utilize and those skills that you will learn are what you will utilize to then carry you into that large ticket offer. Now, if you did not do the mission and vision first, if you didn't do that first, then you have a problem because you need to make sure that that low ticket offer is in line to set you up for the high ticket offer and to set you up for your big vision as well. So often we are not on target with our target audience. All right, so I hope this helps. Now, looking at what our CEO mindset looks like. Again, we are typically coming from a hourly or salary mindset, meaning these are the things that I have to accomplish. We're coming from a to-do list mindset. As the CEO, you need to be the visionary. You need to think beyond. You need to think about opportunities and you need to be able to spot those opportunities and move into them with action. These businesses often start with doers, not over contemplators. To be a doer, you need to have your product or have something to sell and start trying to sell it. Start trying to test the waters. Make sure that you have a product that will sell. And once you've already made a few sales, then you're gonna start to scale. Then you're gonna start to look how this goes beyond. Um, but we're always holding in our mind that vision, that bigger picture. And yes, it needs to be a little scary, but we don't want it so scary that it feels impossible. And then, of course, we also need to have a proper relationship with money. So often, again, we have only made this much and we're trying to think drastically different in how we're having an income because not only are we now supporting ourselves, so we need to get out of that contractor style mode, but now we're also supporting the growth of a business. A million dollar business is not much. A million dollars is just the start. So when we say making a million dollars in your business, that's just your first milestone. That's just your first goal. That's going to allow you to scale. That's going to allow you to begin to build your empire. Your money mindset is extremely important. And if you have any money blocks, you can know this by looking at your bank account. If you have any money blocks, if you have any fears of chasing money, if you have any fears of making money, if you have fears of growing and going bold, those first need to be resolved, which is something, another thing that we do within the Million Maker Business Blueprint. As a business consultant, an MBA business consultant, I am also a hypnotherapist and mind-body therapist. And so mindset is hugely important because if those blocks are there, we're not going anywhere. So those blocks need to be resolved first, first and foremost. So we need to get the money mindset under control and we need to be okay with being a creator and being a visionary so that we can lead our business, whether it's a potential business or it's already there, so that we can lead it into the future, so that we can lead it into growth, into scaling. If you're interested in learning more about scaling your business or just checking in with your mindset, your CEO or money mindset, let's schedule a um, strategy call. So this is mapping out, mapping out what is it that you really need to do? Is your business right now, currently, in scalable mode. Do you know where you're going? Let's check that out. Let's see what gaps you have in your business. And I'm gonna give you a little mini micro blueprint, a couple little dots on your map of pinpoints that you need to check into. And by all means, you can work on those yourself. I'm definitely gonna give you a lot of value for, for what you're doing. So you can do those yourself or you can choose to work with me. I am not gonna pressure you on a sales call. I am gonna make sure that this is worthy of your time. I know I've jumped on plenty of calls where I feel like 
they were just asking me a ton of questions and I left going, what did I really just get out of that? I want to make sure that you're getting your time's worth, your money worth out of your time um, because your time is valuable. Your time is energy. And that's when we say your money's worth out of something, even if it's, even if it's free, because it's valuable. Time is valuable. We're exchanging time for money. Uh, so be sure to drop a little emoji or a fun GIF or, or send me a message. I'll also post the link here so that you can schedule your strategy call today. Let's map out your million maker business blueprint. I'm Izzy Nally with Izzy Nally Consulting and I will see you later.